Okay guys, let's take a look at Motor Control 2 Lab 5. In Lab 5, we're going to use a three-wire start-stop to control a control relay and a timing relay. That timer relay is going to give us a delay on for starting this motor coil. We're going to use the control relay to control the red and green indicator lights. We have an emergency stop for the circuit. What we want to happen here is I want to be able to hit this start, which will temporarily energize the control relay, which will close this contact and allow it to continue receiving power. That will allow the timer to have power to start timing. We'll get about a three second delay and then this normally open time close contact will close sending power to the motor starter. Now the red light and the green light are going to work with the control relay to show when it's energized. So as soon as we push the start the lights will change and then we should have about a three second delay before the motor starter engages and then we should be able to stop it immediately with the normal stop button, the e-stop, the disconnect or turning off the power. Okay, so if we turn on the power, go ahead and close our three-phase disconnect. That's going to feed power over to one side for each one of those normal open contacts on the motor starter. That's also going to feed power where we have our control transformer tapped in the line one and three. It's going to feed it 240 volts in. This is going to step it down to 120 volts on the control side. On the control side, we come out of X1 and we hit an E stop. We also heated up one side of a normally open time closed contact on the timing relay. We heated up one side of a normally closed contact on the control relay and one side of a normally open on the control relay also. That right there, when the control relay is energized, they will, they will flip flop, meaning this one will open, this one will close, this light will go off, the green light will come on. Three seconds later, we should see the motor start. All right, so if we hit start, our green lights and red light chains, timer's timing, three seconds. When it kicks out, power to the motor coil, the motor is energized. Again, I can stop it at hitting stop, uh, hitting e-stop, uh, opening the disconnect, or turning off the power. Okay, let's go ahead and get yours drawn up like that, operating like that. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll see about wiring it.